good guys, it is Thursday and that must mean it is weighing day. Hey lol. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so week eight weighing day, let's see how we've got on. Last week we were 14 stone one, remember I started at uh, 15 stone 13 pounds, so just about 16 stone. So we'll see what week eight brings us. Here we go. Okay, so week eight weigh in. 13 stone 12. So that means we've broken the two stone barrier. Uh, so two stone dropped in eight weeks. Three stone to go, we're getting there, we're making progress. Time to give you a quick update on the physique. Hopefully I've got more physique to show you than in a, a few times. So, a little bit tighter. Still, big round the love handles. Maybe a little bit more toned in areas. So, there we have it. Week eight completed. And um, time to crack on. It is a snowstorm out there. The beast from the east is here. Hey guys, what's good? David Hoops here, and I'm just coming to you with some real talk. Last week, it was a good week in terms of weight loss. I crossed the two stone mark. I've lost two stone and two pounds in just under nine weeks, eight or nine weeks. We're in week nine at the minute. Weighing is tomorrow, and it is uh, coming off the back of a tough week, if you like, last week. My wife and I were snowed in. We had planned to go down the country, but we couldn't get out of the house. So we had to just dig into the food that was in there. And that was things left over from Christmas in the freezer, unhealthy stuff, and something we call a beige meal, where you look on the plate and it's all, all the same color, just like the color of the door, really. Stuff you just put in the oven for 20 minutes and you know it's, it's processed, it's not, not great. And that really affected us. We argued, we felt lethargic, didn't exercise. And then the next night, we ordered a Domino's pizza, which, again, we haven't been craving fast food for the whole two months. And then we didn't have our fresh food and suddenly we're craving it. So I thought it was really interesting. But I also wanted to say that it's all right to have a little setback. It's how you bounce back from these setbacks. Do you go, nah, I fall off the wagon? Or do you get back up and climb back on the wagon and go, you know what, I'm hanging on. And even if you're hanging on for dear life, hang on, hang on, and then eventually you'll pull yourself back onto the wagon completely and you'll be, be nice and comfortable again. And that's where I found myself. So today's Wednesday and it's taken, you know, literally a day to get back onto track. So just to give you an overview, we had our oven meal on the Thursday last week, then we had Domino's Friday, but then we were like, what are we doing? Get our heads back in the game. Ate well Saturday and Sunday, and we were, were back and feeling really good and positive. So I just wanted to come and say that, you know, this isn't a walk in the park. I know my, lots of my videos have been very positive, um, but it's also a challenge sometimes as well. So you just gotta keep slogging, and it, but it's worth it. So I am five pounds away, from the halfway mark of my five stone that I want to lose. I'm pushing hard and you know I appreciate everyone's support and I'm gonna do this for you and for me. Because it's mainly about me. I'm gonna do this for me and I hope you guys are enjoying it. So uh, I just want to be open and honest. I didn't want to hide anything and say that it's all peachy. It's not, sometimes it's a slog. So time to crack on. I'm going to write a blog now about self-mastery and why you need to master yourself, you need to master your mind before you can master your life. So uh, that will be posted a few weeks ago now, so get on to, to Instagram, Davey Hoops FSL, and, uh, or Facebook, same address, Davey Hoops FSL, and have a read if you're not into the videos. But uh, have a good day, it's hump day, let's finish this week really strong, and I will catch up to you in a bit. Hey guys, what's good? David Hoops here, and it is evening time. It's Wednesday, hump day, and I'm absolutely smashing it. I'm just 
having some pre coup pasta and I just wanted to tell you how motivated I am and how much I'm going to smash this target of losing weight, of making 2018 the best year I can and this is the work I'm doing, so it's pre-prepared, I've eaten well all day, it's um, an evening work session, um, I don't have to be here but I'm, I'm putting in the extra graft to, uh, to help myself get ahead and I'm willing to, to do anything to achieve my goals. I'm willing to work hard, prep my food, do the extra hours, get up early, all these things that need to be done. And to achieve greatness, you need to do things that others aren't willing to. So you can be great and others can't. And that's my mantra at the minute. I'm always willing to do stuff others won't or aren't able to do um, so I'm going to continue to smash it and I'm going to make everybody out there proud but I'm also going to be really satisfied in here.